everybody and welcome back to Unholy Heights. And in today's episode we are continuing things where we left off the last time. Which, um, there are going to be quite a bit of uh, changes really, you'll notice in the roster. We have a few cheaper, uh, fewer cheapies I should say. We have more of the helmet TPs and, you know, a good amount of uh, stu DPs as well. Because I really like the magic attacks that they have and, um, these guys are actually becoming pretty damn useful because their defense is high and when leveled up high enough, their attacks could be pretty lethal and they do strike more than one enemy, so. I've been finding out um, pretty much that they're pretty damn useful. So as you can see, I've been spending uh, quite some time level, uh, leveling up these guys to a more respectable strength. So, these guys usually come in the single digits in terms of attack. So I got this guy like up to 37. Then you add the bonuses and forget about it, but it's not too bad. His defense is nice, magic is a little lackluster, but they seem to be more concentrated towards physical defense, if anything. And then, uh, let's see, our little Stude EP here. Unfortunately, both of them are unemployed, but, well, never mind, one of them got a job, but for a while they were able to pay the rent somehow. I don't know how they got the money, but they did, but I think the biggest <laughs> improvement around here has to be the cheapies, ironically enough. 70, 76 physical defense and 94 magical defense. I mean, his father before him had... 99 so it, it got to the point where pretty much it was starting to fall because it couldn't I don't think it could, uh, can go into the triple digits so actually you know what I think it can I mean why wouldn't they be able to right but aside from that um, what I've been doing for the past couple days is just hyper leveling them up I guess I mean, free battle mode makes it so much easier because it's less work on your part or less t attention you have to put on it. But I just set it to the max speed and just let everything go on. I mean, they do a pretty good job, like, handling themselves during a fight, especially when it comes to um, these little unknown groups of heroes that come after you every now and then. They can handle themselves pretty well, even though they do take some damage, but of all the time I've been uh, spending leveling these guys up, I haven't lost anybody, so it's been going so it's been going pretty damn well. Let's just say that. And on the child front, these guys have been doing very well in uh, getting mates and also having children, so it's been an easy time really. Uh, getting newer generations up and running. And on the rent part, I keep it to a nice middle level, I guess. So I get to the point where their mood about the apartment changes and just half it. So, you know, I don't want to try and push the limits or anything. If I can make money, a nice stream of it, then that's fine. So today we are going to try and tackle these three missions here. Operation Devil Squash. I think I'll leave that for last because that's a story based one. It keeps us going. Summer Champions and the Rise of Prophet Alados. I love that guy. But I think we'll do the Summer Champions. Let's test out our, our guys. Let's see whether all my hard work has paid off or not. And, uh, you know what? Let's not be ballsy here. So, 19. But, yeah, you see this? I'm, I'm so... I love this, actually. It's, like, amazing. It's just striking multiple opponents. It's just... It's so badass. Let's, uh, make that go a little quicker there. But, yeah, I'm starting to really see these guys' worth. I mean, this guy, he just took all the damage like it was nothing. Sure, he looks hurt, but he's still alive, ain't it? 
So, we are going to... I want to try... Yeah, let's get the vitamin drink. It seems more economical, at least. I'm not really hurting on the money front either, so... That's another surprising thing. So, the Red Hot 3... Let's see, how are these guys? Alright, that's not bad. Not the worst either, so... My guys are a hundred times better, so it's like, no threat really. But, you know, then again, I do have to watch out for these guys, because they can't take magic attacks very well. Pop, par, uh, pop army, armor. Why, why did I screw that up so badly, really, now? But, yeah. Physical damage is more of their uh, forte around here. Which is nice, you know. I'm not going to complain, but it's certainly no cheapy here. This guy is a freaking powerhouse all of a sudden. I'm really impressed by that. So much so that... I'd like to get him, like, up in the front, if possible. But then again, having such a strong creature in the back, just in case things go, like, awry, um, awry up front, it's good to have him as, like, a last, a plan B. So I think I might keep him there. I'm really excited to see what the Tier 4 cheapy is. Because I still don't think we ever even encounter that creature. Not in the last playthrough, at least. But... Wow. And there we go. Cursed by the sun was destroyed. Got quite a bit of, uh... Quite a bit of change there. And, yes. Yeah, strangely enough, that's one of those missions that are really lackluster in that they send only one guy at you so it's like really and here comes the orchestra of love i hate this noise so much i mean when i like uh spend you know at least a half hour or so leveling these guys up i have to lower the music and all sounds all the way down to as low as possible just because that sound effect is just so annoying after a while so, Pip get... Okay, well, you got promoted to something, so... Um, I would say good job, but I'm not sure exactly what you became. So, Pope the Doctor. That's pretty badass. We got Pope glasses. And Pio... Dang, but, you know. It's okay. Since that went so well... Why not so I keep things going with the rise of Prophet Alados? I'm, I'm pretty confident with these guys. They really haven't let me down so far. And I've been like, just letting them do their own thing really in terms of doing these battles. Uh, I've become to, I've come to trust them. And the misguided sheeple once again. Alright, so... Okay, these are very modest stats, so I'm not really scared but as you can see yeah you got hurt pretty badly so let's uh well we have to be very careful I guess you know what you better run run buddy uh, I didn't want you to run like that I'm sorry wow I guess I didn't have to worry, really, because, uh... Oh, wow, you're so dead. Let's speed this up. There we go. Wow, that was not bad. I'd be terrified if I saw a bunch of uh, chickens coming at me. That's for sure. So, off to work, huh? Well, I, I guess that's okay. We got quite, a, uh, quite an assortment of people here. Oh, that was quick. You're a, oh, you're you're a UFO fanatic. Okay, I don't know what you would do normally on a 
typical day at work, but I, I take it you must like look up at the sky, you know, a couple minutes. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything up there, so job's done. Good job, I guess. It's just my educated guess, but hell, I could be wrong. How many rounds are there? Three? Okay. Well, this shouldn't be too bad. Okay, well, I'm not too scared about this. These guys are always, like, atrociously weak in terms of physical defense. But really, really bad when it comes to, uh... Really bad when it comes to, uh... Yeah, what was I saying? They're bad at physical defense. High attack, but... If you can get to them first and deal those hits and get those hits in really quickly, you really don't have to worry about them. God, I wish I really kept the track of the time here when I started. Oh, someone grew up. Uh, 203, okay, and I... So let's see. Um, so 21 attack. So, okay, that's very very meager. 67, 68. Yeah, that was less than stellar, my friend. Uh, I'm not too wild about that. That was really bad, if anything. Uh, I don't really want to get you anything, even though I think I already did get you stuff. You're an action figure designer, and yet you need a TV for work. I guess that makes sense. Because you have to watch, I don't know, G.I. Joe's and get those characters down to the very last detail. It's possible. <laughs> uh, let's see, so fake wallpaper. Built it. Wow, you're already asking for that? Uh, I'm not too mad about it. I have the money to spare, so. Mini cereal. It's just, it's just time to spend my money. So um, I have like millions of dollars of it. I wish I had that much money in real life, but mm, nope, nope, that's never gonna happen. Unless I hit the lottery or something. But other than that, that's not gonna happen. So let's see. Um, wow, we really got through those missions quicker than I thought. I honestly didn't think it would be that easy. 